one man who translated for the U.S. Army in Afghanistan feels helpless and horrified. New tonight at 6, he told KCCI's Andrew Mullenbeck about his family's close call today at the airport. Nami Mohammadi's family has visas to leave, and that's just what they were trying to do outside the Kabul airport this morning. But the family left the Abbey Gate just moments before the explosions. If people try to get out, you know. Mohammadi passes days and nights scrolling through his phone in sadness and disbelief. He waits for updates from loved ones, but much of what he sees makes him shake his head in pain. The last two weeks, the images I see, the videos of people, you know, trying to uh, get into the airport and trying to, uh, you know, flee the country is, uh, is the most heartbreaking. These images are from the time Mohammadi worked alongside the Iowa National Guard in Afghanistan. He translated for the U.S. Army for four years. The very people he served with helped him secure U.S. citizenship and moved to Iowa in 2013. Now he's desperate for his family in Afghanistan to get to safety. What bothers me is that uh, I, 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 can't, I can't do anything. I can't do anything even for my own family. You know, um, I never thought that uh, I would see this or I, I would experience this, you know, uh, in my life. His family had visas in hand at the Abbey Gate outside the airport and were waiting there until just moments before the explosions. His brother fractured a leg from the crush of people trying to get into the airport earlier in the day. For the last two weeks, I haven't been able to sleep well, eat well, focus on anything. Uh, it, it has been the tough two weeks for me and for my whole family. Mohammadi was actually at the Kabul airport earlier this month visiting family. He says the scene there now is like a nightmare that won't end. Stacy.